Cobra Kai. I'm kidding. Bonsai, I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and welcome to the official breakdown of part one of Cobra Kai season six. Let's get right into it. So we start off with a flashback of the end of Cobra Kai season five, when Terry Silver gets arrested and Cobra Kai is done for good. We then cut to a shot of the students and senseis of the new Miyagi-Do dojo, and then we get a shot of construction workers throwing out the Cobra Kai sign from season five. So this is basically representation that Daniel and Johnny did it. They took down Cobra Kai, but what is that famous expression that we always use? Cobra Kai never dies and we know cobra kai is not actually dead with crease on the run and we're gonna get to that so then we get a shot of hawk and dimitri walking into west valley high school they are greeted by the ex cobras and miyagi does they're all friends now now that cobra kai is out of the picture everyone is on the same side we then see sam robbie tori and miguel walking the halls of west valley high together so robbie is officially back in school and this is our core for now they're all getting along we have miguel and sam who are dating robbie and tori who are dating and after all of the drama between this whole group they seem to have really put everything behind and now they're on the same side we then get a shot of chosen looking at a newspaper titled martial arts mayhem major karate scandal at local dojo and we have a mug shot of john crease and Terry Silver. And this is the only new image we have of Terry Silver in this whole trailer. So we'll just have to wait and see if he actually shows up in person in Cobra Kai season six. In this shot, we have all of the students of Miyagi Do lined up in front of their senseis. Everybody is here, and it's so cool to see after seasons of this person on Cobra Kai, this person on Eagle Fang, this person on Miyagi Do, they're all together now for one unified purpose, which is to compete in the Sekai Taikai and win and represent their dojo to the world. So the students bow to their senseis, Johnny, Daniel, and Chosen. We then get these training shots in the Miyagi Do backyard. We have Dimitri breaking a board. And if we look to the left, we can see Mike Barnes who is there and going to help Daniel and Johnny train their students for the Sekai Taikai. Probably not going to go easy on them. We know how Mike is with karate. He's very passionate, very dedicated, and I cannot wait to see these interactions because we have not seen Mike Barnes interact with the students of Miyagi-Do. So we then get a shot of Johnny and Devin. Super excited to see this duo back. Very underrated duo. I love the relationship that they have here. We then see Miguel and Robbie on the sparring deck and everybody is watching. Daniel is refing and they're gonna fight. We've had many Miguel and Robbie fights, but it seems as if this is gonna be the final one and there are going to be a lot of stakes to this fight as we will see johnny and daniel shake hands they're on the same side now love to see it we then see tori and sam sparring on the deck and it's going to be really interesting to see this dynamic because they've been through a lot these two so now that they're fighting just to train and they're not fighting to kill each other it's going to be a very big change we then see johnny buying an Axe from Lyle the Pawn Shop Guy. So Lyle is back in Cobra Kai. Woo! Love Lyle the Pawn Shop Guy. And Johnny tells Daniel that he has his axe to go training Rocky Four style. How Rocky chops down the tree and then carries it on his back. So love the Rocky references. Always got to have that in the season of Cobra Kai. We then see Amanda and Carmen. And we can see a blue cup and a pink cup. Looks a lot like a baby gender reveal. So we don't yet know what the gender is going to be, but most likely we're going to find out here. We then get a shot of Daniel saying to himself, what could possibly go wrong? And, you know, with Daniel and Johnny training together, I'm sure a lot. We then get a shot of Chosen breaking a wooden board Karate Kid 2 Miyagi style. Absolutely insane. We then see Johnny drinking from a Coors bottle. Standing in front of him are Miguel, Sam, Robbie and Tori, who he is training, just like season one with the pitching machine. He's using it to train the kids, but with a 
pours bottle, puts it in, and he's hitting the kids who are standing on the balance board. So Miguel is going, he's trying to avoid it. Robbie's going, he's trying to avoid it. Daniel's just staring like, what the heck? Sam's going. We then get a shot of Sam training in the woods with Daniel. We then see Miguel training inside the Miyagi Do Dojo. Daniel is telling Johnny that their strength comes from teaching both of their styles equally. So it's going to be important that not one of them overtakes the training. We then get a shot of Dimitri who looks like he's ready to compete in something. And in the back, we have the Miyagi Do students cheering for him. And next to Dimitri are Hawk and Kenny, and they both look ready to go. Well, Kenny looks ready to go. Hawk is looking at Dimitri with a bit of an interesting look. Doesn't look like he's really ready to compete against Dimitri. Dimitri looks like he's ready. Kenny looks like he's ready, but Hawk is giving him a strange little look. And then Johnny tells Daniel, since when do I run shit by you? So there's going to be some conflict here. We then see Tori kicking a punching dummy with a Canada t-shirt on this. Probably one of Johnny Lawrence's ideas to get them ready for the Sekai Tai guy and take down the other countries. And then Tori kicks down the whole fence. And Daniel's just like, oh my God. And then Daniel says to Johnny, we have no idea what we're up against. And perfect transition to Kreese and Kim da Un in South Korea, where Kree says only through pain does a champion reveal himself. And we meet the brand new students of Sensei Kim Da Un's dojo. Kim Da Un is here. And here we meet one of the brand new students. And look at this kick, man. It looks like he's going to kick the board right here, right? But no, he does another freaking spin and kicks that board. And we have all of the students here. They look merciless. Exactly what Kreese loves. Look at that smile. So this is going to be our main guy. From this shot right here, Kreese giving him the smile. And this guy looks like he's got the attitude. He's got the skill. We already saw it. So it's going to be really interesting to see these new characters and to see Kreese interacting with these characters and how these characters tie into the story. Because obviously, we need to set up antagonists for the kids at the Sekai Tai Guys. So this kid right here looks like he's going to play a role in competing against the Miyagi Dos at the Sekai Tai Guy. We then go to West Valley High School where we see Miguel and Sam talking in the cafeteria. This looks like a different cafeteria than the one in season one. So I don't really know where they filmed this. And then Miguel says, it just means I'm going to have to beat Robbie again. By Miguel saying this, it's not like they're just sparring for fun. There's a purpose behind this. As Miguel says, I have to beat Robbie. They're obviously friends now, but they need to win this fight. Miguel has a reason to win. Robbie has a reason to win. And we see Robbie bowing to Miguel. Doesn't look like he's playing around. Miguel bowing to Robbie. Doesn't look like he's playing around. So this is going to be a really insane fight. And this is a rematch. Miguel has already beaten Robbie a ton. So we'll see if Robbie can actually pull through this time around. We then have Johnny and Devin walking out of a house and they see Sam and Tori arguing. Basically, Tori is telling Sam that she thinks things are better now because she's training in her dad's backyard. So there's going to be a little conflict there. Now, it's nice to see that they're not beating each other up here. There is still this conflict. I mean, they, they've been through so much together, so they still have things to work through. And we see them fighting here. We then have Daniel saying, I think we have our strongest team. And it's really interesting. With that line, we get a shot of Devin and Hawk. So these two are going to play very crucial factors. And we got to look at Hawk's hair. Right here, we have a perfect shot. He's got the American flag mohawk. Now, I have to be honest. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of this. I thought it was just too much. I thought it was insane. But I got to be honest, it's actually grown on me. I think it's kind of cool. We have Devin, Hawk, Dimitri, Chris, and Robbie. And then we cut to this wide shot. We can see Miguel there. We can see Kenny, Nate, Mitch, Anthony, Tori, and Sam, and they all have flags on them. They look like they're ready to spar. This is probably some sort of capture the flag competition that they have going on here. And then we get a shot of Daniel and Johnny, the college party. This frat guy is about to punch Kyler, and this is the best part of the whole trailer, the best part. Kyler grabs his arm, literally a callback, to Cobra Kai season one, when Kyler is about to punch Miguel in the cafeteria, and then Miguel like grabs his arm and says, It's Cobra Kai. But instead, Kyler says, Bitch, don't you know I know karate? And then punches him right in the face. It's the best shot ever. Can't wait for that fight. Then we get the shot of the woods. We have Daniel, Miguel, Robbie, Sam, Anthony. They're all 
cheering and Daniel looks a little shocked. So there's some sort of competition or something going on here and everybody's cheering. They're happy. So we'll have to see what they're exactly cheering for. We get more shots from the college fight. We get a shot of Dimitri in the dojo. Then we see Johnny clinching his fist. Not the same scene as this because in the other clip where he's clinching his fist, he's wearing jeans and here he's in his karate gi. But now look at him and Daniel. They look pissed at each other. This looks serious. So we'll have to see what they're arguing about. Pitching machine, just like season one, Miguel punching the ball. We saw this in the other teaser trailer. We then get a shot of Tori and Sam hitting each other with pillows like girls do at a sleepover. So this is going to be really interesting to see why they're doing this. They're in the same outfits that they were wearing before they were fighting outside. So is this going to happen after the fight, before the fight? And then we get this insane shot of the new student from Kreese's dojo. And look at this kick that he does. Like, boom. He's going off on his friends. This is insane. The atmosphere is so cool with the torches. And then we cut to the Cobra Kai logo. And that's the end of the trailer. So what did you guys think? Of oh, wait, 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 wait. No, there's more. There's a hatch. So Daniel opens this hatch. We got like Scooby-Doo stuff going on. And then Chosen says Miyagi-san buried secrets for a reason. So Amanda, Daniel, and Chosen are looking at this box, which is buried in Mr. Miyagi's house. So they take out the box. They open it and then we see inside. Just kidding, we don't see inside. That's the end of the trailer. So they're setting up a box of secrets that Mr. Miyagi has hidden. So what is going to be in this box? What could it possibly mean? We know that Mr. Miyagi kept some secrets from Daniel in season three with some of the techniques that chosen revealed to him but these are secrets now that chosen doesn't even know about so mr miyagi has just been keeping secrets left and right it'll be really interesting to see what this secret is and how it actually ties into the story of cobra kai season six and how it affects daniel because daniel really looks up to mr miyagi so anytime he finds out something mr miyagi did that mr miyagi kept from him it really affects him so this was an awesome trailer absolutely love that cobra kai season six part one a lot of it's going to just be training for the Sekai Tech Guy, you're going to have the Miyagi Do's, and then you're going to go to South Korea for the Cobra Kai's, Kreese, Kim Dot Un. And then we're going to get to that Sekai Tech Guy, and it's going to be a whole new ball game, and it's going to be intense. So, what was your favorite moment from the trailer? Mine has got to be this one right here of Kyler punching the frat dude, saying, Bitch, don't you know I know karate? And oh, also, I forgot to mention, Brooks is in the background. If we look at the right of the screen, we can see Brooks. So, after season three, after Hawk, Beat the crap out of him. Brux is back. So happy to see Brux. I love Brux. He was in episode one of season one. So him and Kyler have been there since the beginning. And we know Hawk is going to be at this party too. So it's going to be interesting to see the dynamic between Hawk and Brux. I'm sure Hawk feels bad for what he did now that Hawk has changed. Because Hawk really beat the crap out of him. So, so cool to see Brux back. This is my favorite part of the whole trailer. So is there anything from here that I missed? Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your favorite moment and thoughts on the trailer and your thoughts on season six part one as a whole so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe to cobra kai kid turn on all of your notifications so you never miss a new video hit the like button and share this video with your fellow cobras eagle fangs and miyagi does i will see you all next time on cobra kai kid and until then cobra kai never dies